Cataract Surgery Anesthetics What kind of anesthetic can I have for my cataract surgery? This is asked by a lot of patients. Today, the technique of cataract surgery has become highly efficient, which has led to shorter operating times. This, in turn, has allowed for lighter forms of anesthesia. The primary purpose of anesthesia in cataract surgery is to ensure that patients are comfortable during their operation and that they are relaxed enough to ensure a safe procedure. It is important to discuss the variety of options available. Here is a list of anesthetic options for cataract surgery. Number one, topical anesthesia. Eye drops are given to numb the surface of the eye. This is the lightest form of anesthesia for cataract surgery. Number two, intracameral anesthesia. An infusion of anesthetic is given into the front chamber of the eye. It is used in combination with topical anesthesia. This is one of the most common types of anesthesia used in cataract surgery today. Recovery is quick, with patients only needing a clear shield afterwards for a short time. Number three, subtenens anesthesia. This is an infusion of anesthetic given around the eyeball. It has a stronger numbing effect and blurs the vision. This allows sensitive patients to tolerate the brightness of the microscope light and keeps their eye from moving around. The effects of this type of anesthesia take a few hours to wear off and an eye pad is used to protect the eye during this time. peri anesthesia. This is a needle injection of anesthetic around the eyeball. This type of anesthesia is gradually being replaced by subtenens anesthesia, as more surgeons prefer to infuse the anesthetic. Five, local anesthesia with sedation. This is a mild infusion of a sedative given into a vein of the arm to relax nervous patients. This is often used with a combination of local anesthesia. An anesthetist is always present to monitor patients while under sedation and to ensure full recovery before you go home. We always advise that patients are accompanied home the same day by a family member or friend. General anesthesia. Patients are gently put to sleep for their cataract procedure. This is reserved for my younger patients who don't like the idea of being awake for cataract surgery and also for my nervous patients, where sedation is still not enough to relax them. You will be fully assessed for your suitability for a general anesthetic by our consultant anesthetist. And he or she is present to monitor you during your procedure. Again, we always advise that a family member or friend accompanies patients home the same day. It is important to remember that each patient is different and discussing your anesthesia options is crucial to find the best anesthesia for your cataract surgery.